Hello and welcome to Rachel Ray Crochet. Today we are going to be making the Bitter Beanie. This is a very quick and simple beanie hat. So let's get started here. So I am using Lion Brand Respun Thick and Quick. Um, it's recycled polyester. Um, number six, super bulky and in the color hazel wood. So to start, of course, we're going to do a slip knot. So to do that, I like to wrap it around my two fingers. Then I take this bottom strand. Then I pull the second strand under it. And then you just pull the ends together to make your slip knot. And then we're going to chain six. And from the second hook, second chain from the hook, pardon me, we are going to single crochet. So we'll have a total of five single crochets. Three, four, and five. Now you will chain one and turn. Now we're going to start working in the back loops only. So that's this loop. As you turn your work, it'll be behind your work. So single crochet in those back loops all the way across. And that will create the nice ridge and kind of a stretchy band. Right, and this is number five. And chain one and turn. And you're just going to repeat that same row. So we're just going to single crochet in the back loops only until we reach 40 rows. Go ahead and pause your video here and I will meet you back at row 40. All right, so we're on row 40 here, our last row of our band. So I'm just finishing this out. You see it coming together here. Now you will take your ends, bring them together. All right, I had to join my work here, so I'll weave in those ends at the end. And now we're just going to slip stitch down this way to join our ends together. So insert your hook into the other side, yarn over, and pull it through. And just continue slip stitching down. Make sure you line up your stitches so that it's even. So we'll have five slip stitches to create this seam. Now the seam does kind of bulge out this way. So I like to turn my band inside out and it hides this seam there. Okay, and now we're going to chain one and we're going to create our base row around the rim here. And it's going to be made of one single crochet in each of the rows of the bands. So you see the rows right here. And we're going to go into the sides of those right here. So there should be 40 single crochets all the way around. Now it's sometimes hard to see where the row is, but you can go between stitches um, to hide any gaps in your single crochets. So just make sure you have 40 stitches is the important part. All right, I'm coming to the end of our row one. So that is 40 stitches. Now you are going to slip stitch to this first stitch of the row to complete it, join it together, chain one. And remember we are turning our work on every row of this hat. 
that creates that nice um, ribbing texture. And at this point too, I switch to my larger hook. I do the smaller hook on the band because it is stretchy and I do like that tighter feel. And now we are going to start with our half double slip stitches. And if you've done my other patterns in this collection, you're aware of how this goes. But again, we're gonna yarn over, insert your hook to your next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Then you'll have three loops on your hook. You're gonna pull that first loop through the other two loops. And again, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops, pull that first one through the other two. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through the other two. So continue with that stitch pattern all the way around. Again, we'll land on 40 stitches And I am coming to my end of row two. And again, we'll slip stitch to join our row. And then we will chain one and turn our work. And that is basically the pattern of this hat. We're gonna keep doing those half double slip stitches all the way around. Very easy project, great to do while watching a movie or listening to a book. We just keep repeating row two until we reach row 14. And make sure as you join each row that your joins go straight. But go ahead and pause your video and I'll meet you back at the start of row 15. All right, I'm just finishing up row 14 here of half double slip stitches. I'm going to join my work. Chain one and turn. And now we're going to start decreasing to close up the top of our hat. So to do this, you're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. And now we're going to do a single crochet, two together. And we'll go back to doing two single crochets. And then a single crochet, two together. That is our decrease stitches. And we'll land on 30 stitches in all for this row. Alright, I'm coming to the end of our first row of decreases. I'm going to join, chain one, and turn. And this will be our last row. So here we're going to do the single crochets two together in each stitch around. So this will decrease it by half. So we're going to have 15 stitches. Right, and at the end I will join this will be our last row but it's coming together nicely now we'll cut a very long tail on our working yarn 
we're going to use this to close up the top and secure the button for the palm. So go ahead now and tie off your yarn. Next, you will need to grab a large yarn needle and thread your yarn onto the needle. And now we are going to weave in and out of these top stitches. So just back and forth. And pull it closed. Now I will tie a few knots here at the top, just going through um, some of the stitches, just to secure this really well. And it gives us more of a base to work with, with sewing on our button. And we'll have to weave in all of those ends as well. There it is, looking like a hat. So let's add our finishing touches. So I will poke this yarn through to the inside. Now I am going to switch to a smaller needle. And the point of doing that is for the button, you need a needle that can fit through the holes of your button. Then we will also need to separate a few of these strands of our yarn for our smaller needle. So just be very careful and unravel a few of the, these strands. So I do two and one. For this respun yarn, it's a three strand yarn, and it's fun when you can get it to spin. <laughs> Whee! All right, and then I'll take the section with two, two strands, and I will thread that onto my needle. Might have to wiggle it through a little bit, but now we can attach our button. So I will just pull the yarn through, and then go back in, and I go all the way to the top of the hat on the outside. And be careful with this yarn, being that we separated the strands, it is weaker, and it has a tendency to tear or fray. And it also likes to knot because of that um, spiral way they strand them together that we undid that so it curls up on you. So just continue pulling back and forth through your button until you feel like it's really good and secure or until your needle won't fit through the buttonholes any longer. <laughs> And then I will come up below the button, do a few knots under the button. And next you want to weave in the ends. You do this under the button here as well, and then cut off your excess. And then next we will do this other separated strand. So I'll thread my needle. And this one, I just weave in the ends under the button as well. I don't worry about going through the button with this one. And then cut off the excess. 
And there is our button. Okay, and then for the palm, I take my hook and I go under the button to the very outside, top of the hat. So I like these palms that have the elastic band attached to them. So I will pull that elastic through to the button. Oh, and I dropped it. Let's try that again. There we go. Then I will pull this elastic as tight as I can, and then I will wrap it around the button as many times as possible to make sure that we don't have a floppy palm. I want it nice and tight. And there it is. There is our palm. And our bitter beanie is complete. Another small detail, if you have any tags, I think that really makes it look completed. But that is optional. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy your bitter at Peenie.